Hey everyone, my name is Lance. This slingshot car project is really easy to build, it's fast and it's fun, uh, so let's just jump right in. The first step is to build a rectangular frame out of craft sticks, and then glue one more craft stick in the middle right here for some added strength. Next are the wheels. Put a dowel through the straw, and then cut off some of the dowel so that there's about one inch poking out from each side of the straw. Fit a wheel onto the end of the dowel, and then wrap a small piece of tape around the dowel to stop the wheel from falling off. Repeat on the other side, and then trim off any extra tape. Then create a second set of wheels. Next, tape one set of wheels to the underside of the frame in at least two places. If the wheels are only taped in one place, it'll be less stable. Repeat on the other side, and as you're attaching both sets of wheels, do your best to make sure that the wheels are parallel with each other, like this. Next, use two or three layers of tape to attach a rubber band to one end of the car, and this is now going to be the front. So this is all you need for the project to work, but it is fun to keep building onto the car and customize it. To set up the launcher, all you need to do is place a number two pencil on the floor, and then put a piece of tape across the eraser end so the tape lines up with the very end of the pencil. And then put two more pieces of tape across the first one, like this. These cross pieces of tape are going to prevent this first piece from peeling up. Then finally, tape the other end as well. To launch the car, just hook the rubber band onto the pencil's eraser, pinch the back center of the frame, pull the car back, and let go. So there's not a lot to say about how it works, but there are a couple of key things to know so that it works well. The first and most important thing is that the wheels are aligned with each other. Or in other words, that the axles are parallel with each other. If one or both are even a little bit crooked, then the car is going to spin out. Which, now that I think about it, could be a feature that you tinker with. But if you want it to go straight, the wheels need to be aligned. And the second thing is to do whatever you can to reduce the amount of friction that is impacting the car. For example, if the wheels are pressed tight against the straws, that's going to slow it down. If there are some bits of hot glue strings or whatever that are caught up in the wheels, that's going to slow it down. So if your slingshot car isn't performing well, definitely do some troubleshooting around the wheels and see if there is anything that might be creating friction and slowing it down. And one quick note about launching the car, make sure to pinch the back center of the frame here. If you try to launch it by holding onto the top and pulling it back, then when you let go, your hand can get in the way of the car. So beyond that, one thing that I love about this project is that there are a lot of creative opportunities for you to level up the goals. For example, you could set up targets on the far end of a room, and then the goal is to try to slingshot the car through hoops or something. Or you can add on the challenge of building some kind of seat that can safely hold a toy as it hangs in there for the ride. Or do things like make a ramp out of cardboard and see just how high you can launch these cars up into the air. Uh, it's a really fun project, and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.